Who is the man who will spend or will even lend? Harrigan, that's me. And who is your friend every time that you need a friend? Harrigan, that's me. Well, I'm just as proud of my name, you see, as an emperor, czar, or a king would be. Who is the man helps a man every time he can? Harrigan, that's me. <laughs> hey, how's it going? This is Washington Fish Sr., and we are back with more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It's Harrigan the Charlatan, uh, we're a halfling artificer of Gozag. We just recently converted to Gozag. And I don't know why I'm so enamored with this idea of uh, Harrigan. Yeah, I think he's, a, he's got a lot of charisma. I think he's a good character. So I'm really hoping we don't bite it right away. I think we've got some good momentum on this character, and I'm hoping that we keep it folk moving forward, at least through the second episode. The second episode is always, like, the most stressful one, you know, just because, well, you got that first episode, you establish a tone, and then it's like, well, uh, what are you going to do? You know, you got to hope that you're going to make a continuation. As I said, it's unlucky to post a... Uh, a playlist with only one video, so we gotta hope that we get the second one up. And look, Gozag says, greed is good. Alright, so he's got a little bit of a, uh, you know, sort of Ayn Randian sort of uh, neo-capitalist sort of philosophy here. But we can get behind that, I guess. Uh, we use our short blade on this rat, no reason to get fancy. And check it out, he turned into money? He turned into shimmering money? <laughs> Well, that's new. I suppose that's Gozag at work, and I really like that. And that's a good thing, I guess. It looks like we could get some money. Yeah, kill these guys. And they turn into money. So we got that sort of Midas touch going on. That's really interesting, except that we're a little hungry. But no problem, right? Because there's like some uh, beef jerky right there. We'll just eat some beef jerky. Absolutely, we'll eat some beef jerky, and we'll enjoy the fact that we've got a Midas touch. I mean, seriously, you know, I'd rather have money than a rat corpse. <laughs> I think that you could say the same, probably. And uh, probably we can exchange it later for goods and services. I think that's the whole premise. Uh, okay, so here's an adder. Is it worth getting out the sling, or should we just chuck a couple of tomahawks? Let's chuck a couple of tomahawks, see if that works. Yeah, one tomahawk nails him. And we get some money. I love it. We've got so many scrolls of enchant armor as well. Uh, can this buckler get enchanted anymore? It can be enchanted to plus three. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and um, read my scroll of enchant armor. And enchant up that buckler because that's the best thing that we got. I think that's a pretty solid shield for us. And going through the lair and everything like that, I'm pretty happy about that. We could also consider enchanting up some more of our armor. But do we have anything better? I was hoping to maybe find something enchanted. You know, Harrigan doesn't need much magic to get by. He sort of gets by just by the seat of his own pants. You know, by his own wits here. Let's check out these new scrolls as well. Scroll of teleportation. And scroll of silence. Okay. But it would be nice. It would be nice to have something a little bit, just a little bit meatier than a plus zero short sword. You know, going through the lair, I'm feeling relatively confident about going through the lair. Is just that, well, we can't do very much damage right now. I mean, check it out. You know, I mean, we have some survivability, but we can't really do much damage, neither with our sling nor with our uh, short sword here. So if we had a slightly more enchanted short sword, you know, something with uh, electrocution or something, that'd be great. Or, uh, you know, maybe a better evocable or something like that would be pretty neat. We don't, this is just a regular buckler, right? Something that we can use a little bit more just to our advantage. That'd be fine. Let's go through here. And yeah, I guess we could buy something from, from Gozag. Let's wait till a little hungrier and then we'll, we'll try out Gozag's secret sauce here. Got some more potions. We have some identify. So yeah, let's go ahead and identify some of those. Potion of degeneration. Yuck. Totally not worth our time. And uh, how about this metallic white one? I got a good feeling about that. Potion of cancellation. Okay. That's not that's not terrible to know. Like here's Blork the Orc. We're slightly concerned about that. Did we find a blowgun? That's another thing that I would love to know about. But uh, Blork the Orc. I guess we'll use our hunting sling. We could try to theoretically go up for the stab. But I think I'd rather try to just use the sling bullets. We'll use the um, the steel sling bullets. 
And we have poison tomahawks. That's actually good to know. That's sort of a substitute for the um, for the, the needles for now. But let's see if we can take out this guy with some uh, sling bullets. And actually, Bork the York is a, uh, a reference to uh, Robin Williams, isn't it? Who's now, unfortunately, deceased. So that's a little sad. I gotta back away here just because there's a centaur in our midst as well. I could try some exploding sling bullets, but I think that could be a little foolish. But on the other hand, we got him. <laughs> Blew him up in one shot and uh, also maybe took out that centaur a little bit. It engulfed the centaur, but it didn't do much. Yikes. So what do we got? What, what can we do to, about that? We could enslave him. I think that's an okay idea. It didn't work. Can we try one more time? Yeah. All right, that's fine. And now we get up close and now we stab him. Right, I think we can do that. So that's just like that. Really attack my centaur? Yes. Didn't work very well. <laughs> but it's okay. We got this. Mm. I like that shiny sort of gold over there. I don't like the fact that there's a giant frog. Okay, but the centaur is almost dead. Come on. All right, I got the centaur at least. Now I'm just dealing with one thing at a time. I'm tanky enough that this is not really an issue, I don't think. Like just a big old giant frog, that's not really what I'm concerned with right now. So that is actually kind of okay. Oh, and I got a little bit of a stab. Wait, the giant frog is distracted by the nearby gold. Incredible. That shiny gold. That's brilliant, Gozag. What a neat trick. I mean, greed is good. You know, I can, I can deal with it. Greed is, if it's distracting my foes, you know, I mean, we're thinking about gold all the time too, but, you know, we got our eyes on the prize here. These guys, they just, they're distracted by the glimmering, even non-sentient creatures like that frog, distracted by piles of gold. See, that's some intense level of greed right there to even be uh, distracting, you know, non-sentient life forms. And you know what? I think for a little bit of a celebration, let's try uh, Gozag's secret recipe 11 Herbs and Spices uh, Potion Petition here for free. Uh, and one of them is always Haste and Heal Wounds. Well, where is my... Uh, where is my, uh, my potion of, like, uh, you know, nutrition here? I, I thought I got a nutrition here, but uh, I guess not. I guess I'll take uh, its resistance and agility. Okay, sure. I'm still starving, which I don't like, but I might as well capitalize on this. Well, I've got some serious resistance. Oh, what? I can't believe it. I'm agile and poison and, and resisting, and I have intrinsic poison resistance, and I still can't kill this wasp. Come on, come on now. Okay, this is bad. All right, let's um, let's leave. Let's just use our, our wand of teleportation on ourselves. Evoking this partially identified wand wasted a few charges. Did it now? I did not realize that was a thing. I really should identify that if that's going to wa be wasting charges like that. I did not realize that was a mechanic. Orc coming around with a flail as well. Let's be on the safe side and just eat another beef jerky for now. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Gozag will supply us with nutrition. Eventually. Maybe we just didn't get lucky, or maybe he doesn't give it to you on the first try, because he wants to give you something better for free. I'm not sure. I like the glimmering gold trick. I just need to get food too, Gozag. You know, I don't want to turn into a Midas fable over here, you know? Necrophage is not dying very easily. Like, you need to die, right? If he inflicts rot on us, I won't be happy. Like, seriously. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. We can't do damage. Necrophage turns into gold, though. That's pretty cool. You know, rather that than a stinky old rotting necrophage corpse that nobody can eat anyway. And we are near starving again. So, yeah, let's let this orc become distracted. So that's kind of a good combination, though. If we can let some piles of gold pile up, then we might be able to get some people distracted, and then we might be able to get some sweet stabs in. If we work up our stealth and our short, blade, short blades a little bit more, 
Gozak says the golden half was only the, the golden calf was only the first half. Interesting. It's a reference to the Bible, I guess. A dagger of venom. Well, that's pretty cool. Actually, that's pretty much exactly what we were talking about. A better enchanted short blade, something that we can use to get some stabs when we have uh, glimmering gold distractions. So I think we should absolutely just wield that right now. Is it cursed? No, it's plus two. Even better. Okay. So that's great. Short sword we'll hang on to. We might as well, because why not? But I guess we should buy another potion. How much does that cost? 375 bucks? Are you serious? All right, never mind. That's prohibitively expensive. We're going to su subsist on permafood for now. But um, I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> if we have to buy food, then we'll buy food. I mean, we only have enough for like one potion petition right now. So I don't want to be wasting it. I want to be saving up for these higher tier Gozag abilities. Yep, destroyed. And it turned into an enchanted scimitar, which is pretty neat, but that is uh, long blades, right? Ugh. I destroyed him. I got a stab on him, which is good. Now I don't get a stab on him. And let's remember, we do have our wand if we need it. We have our wand of flame, which we could use. I don't want to get super drained, you know? But against whites, you don't always have a choice. Uh, this is not an airtight staircase right here. I wish that I could find a slightly better place to fight this guy. But the ant didn't really seem to notice us. Come on, yeah. You can get destroyed. I believe in you. Severely damaged, severely damaged. Life force is restored. Excellent. Got anti-drained by killing the white's brother. Ah, uh, the whites give and take life force like water. All right. Enchanted battle axe, fine. Not for us. I don't think we're even. We're not even big enough to wield that. Is that the implication? Which is a little sad. I hope we could wield a great sling. All right, no, we haven't seen any better slings, but that's okay. We got a pretty good sling. Got some potions. We have a couple of good scrolls. Near starving again. But we can do that and take... Yeah, okay, so now I have enough gold to petition Gozag for potion effects. That's good to know, but I don't want to petition him for just, like, nothing. For no reason. I am starving now. All right, so it's time to eat... A meat ration. I hope food doesn't get to become an issue. You know, I don't want this to turn into like a fable about gluttony. Oh no, and it's a rolka. Hmm. That's super dangerous. I'm really not not happy about this. I think we should try to enslave the centaur. All right, and now attack a rolka, please. And also, please don't banish me. Meanwhile. We'll stay in the back and shoot pot shots with... Oh, we should use our poison tomahawks. Do we still have any steel sling bullets? We do have our steel sling bullets. So all we got this out, we might as well use it. Okay. Well, that's something. Should we still use the steel sling bullets? Is that the best thing we have? It might do a lot of damage. Hits a Rolka again. All right, continue to hit a Rolka. Please just don't banish me or, like, blast me with a double lightning. This is a bad spot for a lightning bolt, too, but it would hit her, I think, if she tried it. Still at full health. Okay, we're down to stones here. I don't like that. So let's just get a... Oh! Okay. A Rolka hit me with a giant club. That hurt, but now she is distracted by the centaur, which is good because I got my dagger out, and now I get you in the back! Oh, I did no damage, but you're poisoned at least, and you're still distracted. Very foolish of you, Arolka, not to have paid attention to me! Oh, no. Wait. Alright, so she <laughs> vanished, but then the centaur hit something, and my shields went up. And my centaur looks more experienced. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I don't want to enter explore mode. I pressed the wrong button. Complete wrong button. A coppery potion. So that's a little annoying that our centaur leveled up because we're just going to have to kill it right now. Sorry, centaur. I'm going to have to put you down. Wait, what? Do it. Yes. Yes. Come on, centaur. You got to go. Very good. All right. Centaur is dead. Erolka is dead. Less dangerous than I anticipated. No, oh, he had arrows of frost, too. That could have been super dangerous. 
but I think we handled that well. We might need to recharge our Wand of Enslavement. That's how useful it is. That might be our most useful Wand. Wand of Flame is nice, but I mean, Wand of Enslavement is what we've got for real crowd control right now. We can enslave some people against the others, and it works pretty well. All right, another dungeon complete. We haven't found the lair, have we? No. So we'll just go down not a trapdoor. This place seems pleasant enough. Stab a snake. Pleasant enough. And a Wand of Frost. Okay, well, that's a good replacement for the Wand of Flame anyway. That'll come in handy in the lair, I bet. Actually, there's a lot of stuff in the lair that'll be vulnerable to Frost. And, uh, well... I think pretty much that's where we're headed next, so convenient. Steel sling bullets, should we just keep using the steel sling bullets? It does seem like they're being mulched. I think they might have taken away the property that steel sling bullets are less quick to mulch than the other ones, and they're just more powerful. So maybe we should just use regular sling bullets here. Exploding, actually. Yeah, how about an explode? We've only got one exploding sling bullet left, but it's worth it. Just to blow up an orb priest. Oh, it would have been even more worth it right now. But how about uh, just some regular sling bullets? Take out the priest, please. Oh, we got confused. We got to run. I would love... I, I'm, not do, I'm not doing anything sensible right now. I wish I knew what a potion of curing was. I could have a good guess by one of those, but it's just as likely to be a potion of poison. Fortunately, maybe if I quaff a potion of poison, I could quaff a potion of curing right after. But it's not an emergency situation yet. Now it sort of is. Let's try. Potion of Curing, but I feel immediately confused again? No, 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 no. All right, well, Cure again. This is worth it. And let's teleport. I really don't like this. Oh, man. Seriously? This was a bad encounter. Maybe I can still get out of it. I'm not sure what I should do here. I don't just want to get Chain Confused. My magic resistance is very poor. So what do I do? I don't think I need to do a teleport just yet. I think I should just get out my sh sword and shoot my dagger and start killing people. All right, now maybe I'll get some distractions. Now maybe I can at least poison them, and then if I have to teleport out, I can get them anyway. This orc priest is what I want to be. Okay, now I'm now I'm really just want to get out. So let's just, uh, nothing appears to happen. It's empty, yikes. I wasted a few charges. I really don't like wasting charges on that. I should have identified it, but I don't have any scrolls of identify. So I might just have to use recharging on it. And hopefully I can get like maybe one more stab in on this guy. Poison him, all right, yeah. If we could take this guy with us, that'd be great. I really don't like this. We're at dangerously low health now. We could quaff that potion of curing, but I don't want to block the orb priest. And how long until this teleport kicks in? Seriously, please. Come on, even sicker. You're going to die, right? There's a frog over there, but that's okay. Stormy altar of Kozlal. We can hang out in here. And we got the experience from, from killing the orb priest. All right, so that's something. And we can heal back up. That was a bad encounter. I really didn't like that at all. Wasting one of our wands of teleportation. I should probably charge that back right back up. We got to level 10, though, and we feel more agile. Okay, so our dexterity up to a respectable 16. I can respect that. Here's a centaur. So it's just back around the corner. That's how you deal with centaurs. You let them come to you, and then you charge them. He's going to get poisoned to death. And uh, very good. Transmuted into gold in good time. A new kind of wand, what is this? I really wanted to know what that wand was. But maybe we can get it on the treat, because I sort of want to sneak in and maybe get a stab. Nope, not at all. Uh, okay, uh, this is bad, maybe. Let's back off. I sort of want this wand. Is that so much to ask? Let's back off here. And uh, what did I get? What was the wand? Wand of magic darts? Oh, totally not worth it. How do I fare against a yak? It can gore me. <laughs> Let's back off. Back off into here. I don't want to fight a whole gang of yaks, certainly. I blocked the arrow. Wait, a centaur is shooting arrows at me. Yikes, okay, I don't want that. If anything, you just have to shoot the arrows past the yak, please. And if anything, anything, maybe I should just be enslaving this guy. Yeah, go and attack him. 
Good. Perfect. That was a good matchup, right? It was very even. Both of them nearly died. Giant frog come. Why don't you come by over here and uh, get distracted by the gold? I'll leave that gold there for a second. Just to create sort of a battlefield distraction. Shields up to level 5. That's good. That means that the penalty is completely gone for a buckler. Short blades up to 7. We'd like to continue to get that higher because we're just super scrappy with our blades. Marks. Whoa. Did I step on a mark trap or something? Also, is my auto pickup off? Auto pickup is now on. That explains it. Do I have gold only on this floor? Okay, so it's been off just recently. Oh, it was when we were fighting that orc wizard. I see how it is. But yeah, you guys come to me. Okay, yeah, you're going to come here. And hopefully you'll get distracted by that gold a little bit. And if I have to enslave one of you against the others, I will. Let's see how I can do against these yaks. Just pure yaks, no centaur variables in here. You know, it's just me versus the yaks. Well, now there's an orc wizard mixed in, of course. They never give you pure variables, do they? All right, well, he hasted himself or whatever. The orc wizard blinked over there somewhere. The... Those guys are bellowing. But I feel like we're doing well enough. Uh-oh, here comes an orc priest from that side. So, all right, here's the new plan. Let's enslave you. You hold the line over here. I'll take care of this orc wizard. Oh, what? I killed my yak. Your yak gores the yak. You kill your yak. Oh, because he was poisoned. Sorry, dude. I didn't realize that. All right, new plan. You hold the line over here. Oh, no. We only have one charge left. And it, it resisted. Okay, well, random effects. Over in this general direction, give me something good. Oh, wow, okay, that ended up being charmed anyway. Unfortunately, it's not even really holding the line anymore because we're not in the proper hallway. But we can possibly kill one of these orc wizards by poison. Now we can get into a proper hallway, but there's another orc wizard over there. So I'd rather stay here and now maybe do this. Life is still fine. I'd like to take out this orc wizard if possible. The yak dies. The orc wizard dies. This dies. We're good. All right. I don't think I really need a yak friend anymore. So I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, old yeller. Got to put you down. Old, old yaky. And yeah, look at all this gold. At least you can spend your final moments distracted by beautiful glittering gold. Vocal is up to level... Seven, right? Is that what it said, or six? I didn't even see. Yeah, focus up to seven, which means we're now Harrigan the Vandal. Yikes. Gozag says, bring me some gold. Gozag is like hedonism bot, basically. A black bear coming at me. All right, well, that's a little dangerous. He looks to be yellow. There is a store over there, which I'm not sure how Gozag feels about. I'm sure he appreciates the spirit behind the store, but I'm not sure if he prefers, like, Gozag financed stores only. Oh, wow, he's fleeing, he's going berserk. It's a typical bear trick. What's in the store, though? Anything good? Potion of curing? Worth the money? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather spend it on Gozag stuff, but, you know, I mean, who's going to say no to a potion of curing? It's labeled yellow to get my attention, so what are you going to do about that? Scroll remove curse might come in handy, but, you know, not necessarily. I could identify random uselessness for 14 gold, but that seems like a pointless, pointless thing to do. Oh, I thought I was going to get the stab on you. Yeah, we should get our stealth up a little bit more. All right, more stealth. Turning that back on. I also would love to get my spell casting up a little bit, but I just have no justification for that right now. I already spent enough points getting my intelligence up for no reason. I don't really just want another sink. I sink my... Uh, my points into spell casting for no reason if I'm not going to use it immediately. But hopefully we'll find a good spell book sometime soon. We would just love to just know Blink or something. And we are sort of racking up the money pretty quick. We're near starving. Should we try for that, that potion again? How about after this wyvern fight? Should have used my uh, sling. No reason why I shouldn't have softened it up a little bit, but I didn't expect this would be very difficult. Oh, we did hit pretty hard right there, but we got him here. And uh, now it's time to rest up. Hey, Gozag, what's for dinner? Oh, it does it automatically. No, it doesn't. It, it just, wait. What does this do? 
I don't understand. I've got to like look this up. Like, can I cancel this? No, I can't even cancel it. So it's like, that's it. You know, once you make the choice, you make the choice. He wounds, like I, I need to get food. I guess I'll take one of the cheaper ones. I'll take the cheapest one, but I'm still starving. That doesn't help. We do have a pair of rune gloves, so I'm not gonna feel that bad about it. And I guess I should just stick to my perma food from now on. I don't wanna waste my money, man. Just spent half my money for no reason. Gozag, I, I gotta look that up, I guess. I'll look it up between now and the next video because I, I'm not sure if I'm understanding what I'm supposed to do. Like now I'm starving. I gotta just eat a meat ration. All right, but here we go, rune gloves. Show me something good, even if it's not good. If it's cursed, we can just go by that remove curse. Or I think we have one. But we got plus one pair of gloves, just like we had before. All right, well, I like the new ones better. Uh, Wanda Plane, we've got three puffs left. Can we do it? I think he's not vulnerable to poison. It looks dangerous. It's not like super dangerous, but it's probably gonna penetrate through our armor a little bit. Susceptible to fire. You know, like, I don't know if I wanna fight him exactly. Let's get a little bit of range on him. And now I'll at least be able to get a few, few pot shots here. So steel sling bullets, definitely justified. Okay, and now, Wand of Flame. Yeah. And one more, come on. Yeah, last shot with that. So we got a bunch of empty wands now. That's a little concerning. Also a slight food problem because I don't understand how Gozag works. But look, here's a book of some kind. Show me something good, something with translocations in it maybe. It's a book of flames. Oh, it's kind of a strikeout. I don't really want to learn flame magic, do you? I was not planning on going for, for fire magic this game. Maybe we could though. Learn, learn some Conjure Flame, that's a useful spell. It's a little bit beyond us right now, unfortunately. Uh, I guess, I don't know. It's not, it's not what I was looking for, but you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. I don't think everybody, I, I don't think I've ever really heard anybody say that, but you know, I'm aware that it is something that somebody has said at some point. I just said it. <laughs> Killer B. All right, we do have that poison resistance, right? We are fine theoretically for poison, and yet we still continue to get poisoned because we're just a mess. <laughs> Come on, Harrigan, pull it together. I mean, we're we're surviving. You know, don't get me wrong, but it's like, what does poison resistance even mean nowadays? I think they changed it from like ninety percent resist to sixty six percent resist, so it's not like as outrageously unlucky as it used to be. And we are taking out a lot of bees. That's kind of cool. We can take all the gold. That's also pretty cool. And I guess if we're really feeling an emergency, we can just uh, petition Gozag for a potion. He might be able to heal us up or something like that. So maybe we should just be treating that as more of an emergency option. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find a source of food and hopefully we can use some of these better Gozag things as well. I don't know if calling a merchant is really worth it, considering that maybe we should wait until we're done with the Orcish Mines or whatever. We'll get a bunch of money in the Orcish Mines. We'll see what's available in the stock there. And, uh, you know, then we can make some more informed decisions about whether we want to finance merchants or maybe save up for bribing a branch. I guess we'll see about that. But, okay, yeah, done with here. And, oh, it's Nergal. Okay, it's Orcish Apparition time. I don't like this at all. Uh, let's be realistic. I, I um, don't have any good way of dealing with Nergal right now. I'd rather just back away. In fact, it might be time for I like, to teleport immediately. I mean, I guess we're, we're doing fine against the apparitions, but let's just back away. Uh, we got slightly drained by that. Annoying. Maybe fighting this phantom will help a little bit. Right, maybe. <laughs> Come on. You can fight a phantom, right? We got this. Fighting the Phantom will restore our life force, restore our confidence, restore our sense of self-worth. Nah, it didn't. <laughs> We're still drained. But that's okay. It's Nergal. Alright, it's Nergal again. 
I should have expected. Let's try throwing the poison tomahawks this time. Poisoned, poison. Well, at least you're partially poisoned. Wanda Frost, I was sort of looking to save. Are you wearing like a robe? Wielding a robe. So maybe a wand of magic darts is not the worst idea in the world. Um, lightly wounded, I guess. Can we try to get a few good stabs in on you? Lightly wounded, even sicker. I would love to just be able to take you out. Of course, she could just cast Death's Door at the last possible moment, which is why I'm worried about this low DPS strategy here. And of course, she's just summoning more and more hordes. I don't seem to be taking very much damage. Oh, but that time I did. And this time I'd rather just run. All right, you need to just die, Nergal. Okay, wait. Oh, but you're in death's doorway. Are you still going to be poisoned at the end of it? I doubt it. So we need to keep a close tabs on Nergal and when she may or may not be out of death's doorway. Because that's a nasty trick. And of course, we're running into unfamiliar territory. This is bad news. Um, are you out of death's doorway yet? No. Spectral Orc Knight. Oh, I see. One of the Orc Knights is more dangerous than the other. Spectral Orc Warriors, Spectral Orc Warriors. And that's the Spectral Orc Knight. I see. He's got an Arbalest. Dangerous. Nagal. Still in death's doorway. That's so nasty. Okay, well, we're gonna run around here and maybe not die. That would be a great plan. All right, we, we, we sort of made a loop. I'm happy about that. Nergal, you need to play ball here a little bit. You wanna be right around the corner? No, of course not. Well, we've got an angry horde on our tail. We've really gotta just stare dance up here. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take Nergal in one clean sweep like that. But that's okay. At least we're going to play things relatively safe and survive. Right? Survive? Right? Right, Mr. Yak? <laughs> Particularly tough Yak? He's poisoned, and now our life force is back, so now we've got no excuses. We got all of our vim and vigor back. That mummy hit us pretty hard, though. I don't want to say it's potion petition time, but is it potion petition time? No, it's not. We can outrun a mummy. We gotta save our money. We don't want to be like Scrooge McDuck style either. We don't want to be like a fable of greed. <laughs> Where it's like we, we save all our money because we're super miserly and we're hoarding thousands of dollars and then we die at the end of the game because we were too miserly to even spend $300 on a potion of heal wounds. That would be a tragic tale indeed, but maybe Gozag does that. It poisons your heart a little bit. We gotta stay stay above all that. We gotta be like rich, philanthropic sort of guys, you know? Buoyant in our attitude. Uh, okay, so I don't know what happened to that mummy. That yak was not very attentive, apparently. <laughs> this yak a little bit more so. Still starving almost, but we can eat. We've got more food. Let's go ahead and eat a meat ration right now. Continue the stair dance. We can take this gang of yaks. Gaggle of yaks. I'm not sure what the uh, collective form of yak is supposed to be. A yackle, probably. There's a wyvern. All right, that's tough. Back in here until we're in full fighting form. Now we can take a wyvern. No problem. Poison dead. There we go. And reached level 11 in the process. We're leveling up quite quickly, I believe, partially because we do have the uh, halfling experience bonus going on. Which is uh, interesting. You know, it's pretty cool. It's not even something I really counted on. This yak seems tougher than normal. You got us down to nearly half health already. And, I mean, we want to be at more than half health and we're fighting more than half the yaks. This guy, we might try to poison and run away a little bit. Yeah, now that we've got some poison on him, we'll just run away. He's going to get poisoned pretty soon, right? Yeah, great. Stealth and shields going up. I guess we could still getting... Wait, Gozeg says, don't bother me unless you have something to purchase. Now, that's a little rude. You ever hear of customer service, Gozeg? Let's turn our shields off focused, at least, because we don't really need to be pumping shields like that. We might get a better shield at some point. Right, if we found a better shield, or if we found a better armor. We could theoretically just get a better, like, you know, heavier armor. 
We don't really have much in the way of spellcasting right now. But we're done exploring. And, okay. Yeah, that wasp is a little bit tough, right? Take the wasp up. But I think we can poison it as well as it poisoning us. Yeah, I mean, it's poison. It's sort of a poison match right now. Race against the clock. And we definitely won in that battle of constitution right there. And now we can fight this zombie in peace. Hound zombie. Ain't nothing but a hound dog zombie. I don't know if we can even heal up. Dodging continue to rise. Take the yak upstairs. Might as well deal with this properly. Good. And the yak is dead? Or that, that, zombie, that zombie is gone? Okay. This ogre? Yeah, we can sure, certainly use our sling bullets on this guy. And he's almost dead before we even got to him. Cool. Stabbing the crocodile? No such luck. I'm a little worried that that shadow is going to try something stupid like raise a corpse, except that corpses don't exist when we're around Gozag because it's just going to turn into gold. So unless you're going to create a gold golem or something like that, good luck, Mr. Shadow Imp. I hope you get distracted and get stabbed to death. So there's an unintentional benefit of Gozag that I didn't even really think about until now. Uh-oh. Which was, uh, well, no corpses for necromancers to use. I'm going to attempt to sneak away from this Cyclops. Didn't work. Cyclops coming up the stairs. Please don't throw a rock at me. <laughs> okay. Things getting a little dangerous around here in the dungeon. I'm sort of hoping that I find the lair pretty soon because I think that would be more of my level. Just random cyclopes coming up the stairs. And, you know, granted, they were coming from up the stairs. So, you know, they're from a more dangerous, deeper part of the dungeon, one supposes. But not that much deeper, just one floor deeper. Could be cy and now there's cyclopes wandering around here. It's spreading, you know, the infection is spreading. Okay, yeah, come and get me, Mr. Giant Spore. I'm a crack shot with these uh, stones here. Gotcha. Hopefully we can deal with this fungal infection before it gets to be too late. And there, in fact, is the lair right there. So just in the nick of time, we discovered the lair. And uh, I don't want to be fighting out in the open like this. I just wanted to cull this fungal infection. You know, it would be a little medically irresponsible of me to... <laughs> Just let that fungal infection run rampant. Oh, nice. Scorpion distracted by the gold, though. That gives me a little bit of a moment. And uh, why don't you get distracted again? Yeah, look, he's continued to be distracted. That's so cool. I like that Gozag. Even if that's the only thing that Gozag does, I like it. It's good for a stabber. I mean, it's good for a short blades user like me. It works out pretty well. Speaking of which, any better short blades we haven't noticed? No, a rapier. That's really neat. That's something kind of new, I think. Did they change that from, like, uh, used to be, like, cutlass? Did they change it from cutlass to rapier to make it a little bit more pokey, pointy in the spirit of all the other short blades? I think they might have done that. Uh, so, I think we will go pick up a rapier. I think that's a pretty, pretty fashionable item, actually. Seems pretty high class. Definitely Harrigan style. I mean, maybe not quite so scrappy, but, you know, we're trying to class up here, you know? <laughs> we're moving into the upper upper echelon of society with Gozag. So let's go get ourselves a rapier. I guess we do have to worry about food, so let's be efficient in our movements. And we will use that. Let's drop the short sword, because why have a short sword when you could have a rapier? But we'll continue to use this enchanted dagger, of course, for now, because that's probably the best thing that we have. But if there's something that a dagger can't ha handle, like it's got too much armor... It'd be great to find an enchanted rapier. That'd be a really cool weapon to use. Wand of digging is whatever. Good, I guess. Definitely good. Ice beast. Well, I don't like the fact that we don't have any more um, wand of flame. So let's see how we just do with our dagger. We do seem to be doing pretty well. I thought this guy had more armor. Oh, he does hurt. He really does. But we're, we're, we're okay. There's that Cyclops. I'd really ra rather he didn't notice us. Goliath Beetle, I don't really care whether he notices us. Let's just throw some uh, Tomahawks at him. Right? I mean, you got just a couple stabs in and then run, probably. Even sicker. Oh, no. Just don't throw rocks at me, please. I, I really just don't want you to throw rocks at me. This is not exactly a safe place to hide. We'll eat our final meat ration. I don't like to be eating our meat rations like this. 
But I guess what difference does it make? Okay, so what's the best way to deal with the Cyclops? We're at almost full health. Why did I say Cyclops? Oy. I guess um, we have throwing nets. <laughs> we could throw a throwing net at them. That'd be pretty funny. Back away, I guess. Okay, so the large rock is missing us. Let's try the let's try the throwing nets. What's the worst that could happen? The cyclops is too large for the net to hold, so I guess that's the worst that could happen. We could try the sling, take down a cyclops. That would be kind of like David versus Goliath style. There's a shadow imp. I don't like that. Uh, let's just leave. Honestly, it's a little cowardly, but it's like, I'm not sure what the best way to deal with the Cyclops is. Unfortunately, Cyclops, Cyclops. <laughs> is this like, the, I don't know why I keep saying, it's supposed to be like the plural of Cyclops, right, I think. And maybe take the Shadow Imp, unless he drains your life or something. Okay, we can take that Shadow Imp, no problem. I would prefer if the Cyclops came around the corner, so it's like at least he didn't have the advantage of throwing his rocks. There's a food shop in here. Okay, well, I guess we can at least spend our money on food that way. Might be a better deal than what Gozag has to offer. In fact, I might just stock up on food right now. A, B, C, D, E, G, H, I, J. That's going to cost 230 bucks. Well, no, never mind. Because we might have something that's going to give us a huge leg up in the Orcish Mines or something that we might want to buy right away. I do like that we can sense gold as well. That's pretty cool, Gozag. I like that. Gives us uh, a nose for, nose for profit there. Come on, Cyclops. Let's see if we can get up close. Yeah, okay, we get close enough that we can just get the stab. Cyclops is poisoned, and hopefully he's not going to just throw rocks at us point blank, because that's probably the most dangerous thing he can do. I think that if we just stay close, he might try to, like, hit us with the club, or just generally try to pound us into submission. It hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. But he can't hit us very much, and we do have our shield, and he is poisoned, and we'll just generally have an advantage here. Seems like we were dodging those boulders okay, too, but you don't want to take a risk with one of those boulders. One of those boulders hits you the wrong way, and you could be crippled for life, man. All right, scroll of identify. What are we going to identify? I still think the potions is a bigger priority. Well, uh, yeah, let's do the wand of teleportation, actually. It's only got one charge. So, new plan. Let's just recharge that. That's by far our most valuable wand. And we don't have any more recharging than that, so we'll just have to... Hopefully, um, do something about that later. This troll, I really would have liked to have softened up from a distance, considering they do hit hard. But we have the advantage there. You just got to keep up the pressure because they can regenerate pretty quickly as well, as you probably know about trolls. Now we have a wand of fireball, so I'd actually feel pretty good about that. And another wand of teleportation? A third wand of teleportation? What is this? This is crazy. I guess this is just Artificer Halfling look right here, right? This is just Harrigan at his finest. All right, here's a hill giant. Giants that we definitely need to take out with bullets, slings. Yeah, let's give him our best. Moderately wounded. All right, I don't know. I think we can probably take this guy. If we could take out a Cyclops, I think we could take out this guy. Does he hit much harder? I don't know. I mean, he doesn't have the rocks. I would think this guy would be relatively easier Never mind. That hit us for, like, almost half of our life. We have now a hit on him. All right, so we can continue to run. Hopefully, you'll just get poisoned to death. Oh, no. He, he, he is not working. I need to blink, maybe. Um, block the hobgoblin's attack. Yikes. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a scroll of blinking territory right here. <laughs> Which is a real shame, because I don't want to use a scroll blinking, and I thought we had the, the move on him. I'm going to try to just run to the stairs. If I can't get to the stairs, well then... I killed the hill giant! That's incredible! The poison worked! Yes! It worked so well. And there's a two-headed ogre coming right back over, at, over to us. So we can't catch a break. Alright, come on, Harrigan. Weather the storm. Two-headed ogre. Alright, this guy will, will try the, the sling bullet technique. Yes, yes, yes. That way we only have to fight him at half health when he gets close. And now we got him. That's so good. All right, that worked great. Iguana, same thing. You know, might as well. And some rocks, why not? Yeah, we don't even have to fight him at range, uh, at, at melee range. Bat. 
we got the stab. Not quite, but we still don't have anything to worry about. A better bat. Weak old bat. This guy, yeah, we can just stab him a little bit. I feel like I've taken out most of the dangerous stuff on this level, but it also leads me to believe that, man, we're dealing with stuff that's a lot bigger and a lot more dangerous than us right now. We need to head down to the lair right now. You know, this lair came just in time. There's a merfolk. Okay, that's a little strange. But all right, whatever. And what's that? An electric eel corpse? This merfolk has some sort of, like, dried-up tide pool in here, you know, possibly barely surviving after some sort of climate shift. Maybe it's some sort of, like, mass extinction event where this whole dungeon used to be covered in ocean and this merfolk were, you know, was part of the shoals. And then there was some sort of cataclysm, you know, possibly Pangea formed. And there was some sort of uh, Permian mass extinction event. That's my hypothesis here. Wow, that merfolk is tough business too, isn't he? Uh, what are we going to do about that? Um, I guess I should have tried to just throw some stuff at him. I tried to get a stab on him, I guess. You're still, like, poisoned, right? That hurts so much. Can we run? He does have a spear. But he's also going to get poisoned to death, right? Still poisoned. Still poisoned. Almost dead and poisoned. So, yeah, hopefully I did the job that I needed to. And he's dead. Well, sorry to... I, I was really doing him a mercy there. You know, he wasn't going to last very long on his own out here anyway. I mean, he's the last of his kind, right? And I'm I'm just going to play Ring Around the Rosie with this hippogriff for a second. Oh, he got closer. Never mind. Well, are you going to get distracted by that gold, maybe? Don't like fighting this hippogriff and this orc wizard now. So let's run up this way and take him upstairs. Or I'll just go upstairs. Perfect timing. Good. Okay, wow. All right, so this is annoying, but okay. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, take out the orc wizard, please. We're slow, but not that slow. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to get one past Harrigan. This is a pretty crafty guy. All right, this hippogriff, yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate we have to fight him while a little slow on our feet here, but we're still pretty dexterous. We got him. Evocation is going up. We are now, in fact, Harrigan the Slinger, which is fine. Because we do use our sling pretty regularly. A great sling would be great. Literally great. There was a centaur down there. Well, okay, maybe we'll find him later. But there's some stuff. Yeah, you want, you want to get distracted, maybe? Uh, okay. Um, I thought there was a staircase down here. Let's use the uh, quiver, the the poison tomahawks. Try to try to take that guy out. You're gonna get poisoned, maybe. No, I would love it if he got poisoned. Oh, he's got a halberd of chopping. That's really dangerous and and bad. Uh, how about let's just get close? Are you gonna get poisoned? Yep, poison, poison. I don't like the fact he's got a halberd. So far, it seems to be okay. Let's take out this orc just in case he tries any funny business. You're going to die, right? Okay, you're just going to die. This orc warrior is going to get even more poisoned. Yeah, that hurts a lot. But we got to just try to finish the job. Got him. And now you're going to die soon too, right? Yeah, you're dead. Good. 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 Centaur skeleton. All right, before we do that, let's eat this beef jerky and now head down here. Take out this floor. This floor has been pretty tough. This floor has been a wake-up call. I hope that... I wait for your next payment. Man, what is with you, Gozag? Gozag, he, he's got a little bit of a gruff personality. You know, you grow to love him. He's like the gruff but lovable landlord, you know. He means well. You know, he puts on a show. Like, oh, pay up. But, you know, he really cares about you. I can tell, Gozag. I see through your, your tough, hedonistic exterior. All right, and we are done exploring. So next up would be to head down into the lair. Right? The lair is right there. So I guess that's the plan for next time. Yeah, considering we're already two-thirds of the way through the dungeon. So that's pretty good progress. Haven't died yet. You know, I mean, uh, got a new dagger. There's all sorts of good stuff happening in this video. So I think we're going to cut it there, uh, just so we can have at least two videos on this playlist. But next time, we'll head through the lair and try to conquer that. And uh, hopefully push on with Harrigan, because he's such a cool guy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.